Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to create these autumn nails and I am going to introduce you to these amazing new glitters from Femme Fatale Nails. We are going to start by pushing back the cuticles gently on all of the nails and getting ready for our very thorough prep because we want to make sure these acrylics will adhere very nicely so we are just going to push back the cuticles. I am then going to take my cuticle burr bit on my e-file and I'm just going to remove the dead skin from around those cuticles. Once we have completed our cuticle work, we are going to take a 150 grit file and we are going to gently etch the nail plate. We just want to remove the shine and we just want to leave some scratches in there. Just little ones. You do not need to be rough, you don't need to be heavy handed. You just need to prep this nail so that the acrylic has something to stick to. to remove the dust from all of these nails I have dipped my nail brush into a little bit of isopropyl alcohol so that we are cleaning and dehydrating as well as removing the dust we're then going to go in with our CJP dehydrator and we are going to dehydrate all of the nails now we are going to start fitting our forms we are going to remove the tab from the back and place it on the underside of the form and then we are going to roll it between our thumbs so that we've got a nice C curve in there. And I am going to pre-pinch the very very tip of the form, the very two tabs at the end, just the bottom of it and then we're going to undo the back tab, we're going to slide it under the nail and then we are going to place these two little cuts just where the side walls of the nail meet the form. We're going to secure it on the back first on the finger and then we are going to pinch it into a stiletto shape and it will be a stiletto shape even though we are creating ballerina or coffin shape nails we do want it to be thin and pointy at the bottom and we're going to go straight in before our acrylic with our acid primer and I am then going to start we're going to do a little gradient and I'm going to start with a bead of I think this is CJP cranberry and I'm going to place it on the free edge where the free edge meets the form and then we're going to blend it back slightly and we're going to bring it down to create the shape that we are looking for and this is just going to be the very very base of our nail. Once you are happy with your base and your shape and you've feathered that product up into the nail plate we are going to move on to our second colour this is CJP Chestnut we are going to apply it at the cuticle and we are going to feather it down over the first colour that we've applied this is still very thin uh, this is a design powder so we will be capping this nail so just a thin and perfect your blend to how you would like it to be make the ombre that you are trying to achieve and then we will move on. Next we are going to take one of Femme Fatale's brand new autumn glitters, this is Embers. We have mixed it with three parts clear acrylic and one part glitter and we are just going to feather it up the middle of the nail just to add that extra little bit of sparkle. It's a very very pretty glitter. We're just going to feather a little bit of that onto there and then we will move on to capping this nail. Now this is where we are going to build the shape of our nail. We are going to create our apex and we are going to cap all of that colour inside that clear acrylic. So we're going to start at the cuticle with our cuticle bead and we're going to pat and press it down and you're just going to add more acrylic where it needs to be. Um, it's going to be nice and thin at the bottom with a nice apex towards the back third of the nail. We're going to look at the nail from all different angles and wherever you feel it needs it you can add more acrylic as needed. nail to 
set we are going to move on to farming our second nail i do tend to work and farm one nail at a time rather than farming all five or ten fingers and then coming back i just find this works for me this is easier we're going to once again place the form where it needs to be, pinch the tabs at the bottom and then we are going to place our two little cuts where the side walls meet the form. We're going to make sure it's all nice and tight and secured. Then we are going to come back to our first nail, check that it's ready for pinching and we are just going to pop the pinching tool on there and let it do its job. I'm going to pinch this nail with my fingers as well just to make sure that that free edge is as tight as we want it to be. Uh, we just want that nice curved shape and we want a nice strong slender nail. Now when removing a form you do want to pinch the underside of it so that it releases itself away from the nail and you always want to pull your forms downwards, you don't ever want to go upwards because you might hurt yourself or your client, so always pinch your form downwards to remove it. Moving on to our next nail, we are going to apply one coat of primer before we move on to our acrylic application. I'm just going to sculpt out a small thin platform with clear acrylic and I'm just going to pop it down at the free edge we are going to pat it and press it into place to create the shape of the tip that we are going for now we're going to do a bit of acrylic blocking on this nail we're going to pick up a very small dry bead of i think this is cjp's maroon uh, we're going to place it at the cuticle and we are just going to push the sides upwards to create this triangle shape, this chevron shape. I'm just going to make sure those lines are as neat as possible. We, if we can create the shape that we're looking for with our brush, we won't have to do any cutting or any slicing. We can just create this tiny little shape with the acrylic that we are using. I'm just going to give this free edge a little pinch with my fingers because when we finish our design work we won't be able to pinch it and we're going to move on to farming the next finger I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing here but I am just taking a small pair of scissors and I am cutting a, a small semicircle kind of shape out of the part of the form where it meets the, the natural nail just so we can get a nice snug fit under the this shape nail um, we are going to fit it again to the finger, we're going to snip it where the sidewalls meet the free edge, we're going to make sure it's attached to the fingers first uh, at both sides and then we are going to pinch the form and just squeeze it into the shape that we want it to be. And we do of course want to make sure that there is no gap between the natural nail and the form, we want to make sure we've got a nice flush fit. And moving back to our acrylic design nail, we are just going to take our file and we are going to very, very gently just neaten up those lines so that they are nice and crisp. This should be no major filing here, it's just literally neaten in the sides. We're going to remove the dust and then we are going to come in with our next colour. And this colour again is Femme Fatale's Embers Glitter and I have mixed it three parts acrylic and one part glitter. We're just going to put that right up to the line that we've created so that we get a nice crisp finish and we're going to do the same on both sides to create our second chevron. We're just going to pat and push it into place, we're going to sweep it up to create the chevron shape that we're looking for. I'm going to make sure that all of the little caps are filled and you just need to make sure that there is enough height on the acrylic where you need it to be that you can put the next colour up to it. back 
to our third nail, we are once again going to apply one coat of primer and we are going to sculpt out our little clear platform into the shape of what we want. We just want to make sure we have a base to work from for what we are going to do next. keep building this base until we are happy with it it doesn't need to be thick it's still very very thin I'm just making sure that it's nicely attached to the natural nail uh, it's just a platform it's very 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 thin and it's just the base that we're going to work from and I am very sorry that this is such a long tutorial I am showing you this entire hand of one hand full of nails from start to finish so once again we're going to come back to our acrylic design nail and we are going to file those sides, we are going to neaten them up just while we are waiting for our third nail to dry. So there is a lot of to and fro in between different nails but it, it just has to be done this way I think, I, don't, I couldn't do this one nail at a time. We're going to come in with our next colour, this one is CJP's Cashmere and we are going to butt it up once again to the last colour that we have placed down. We're going to pat it into place and we're going to create a little triangle, quite a big triangle on the side. You can remove any excess acrylic that you don't need, just swipe it away as you've just seen me do. And we are going to create the shape that we want and we're definitely going for chevrons and triangles, that kind of thing and just when you are happy with it you can leave the nail alone. When for this next nail we have taken some real leaves out of the garden, they came off my hydrangea bush and I am just measuring it up and cutting out the sides that we want. Now we are going to trim it around the cuticles, it doesn't have to be exact, it's very very fiddly but if you get the general idea this is where we want to place this piece of leaf. We, I have sanitised this leaf completely so it hasn't just come straight out of the garden and straight onto a nail, it has been properly cleaned. Now we are taking a little bit more of Femme Fatale's Embers Glitter and Acrylic mix and we're just feathering a bit onto the clear base uh, and onto the nail. This is just going to be the background for our leaf, we just want to see a little bit of sparkle poking out behind it. We do still want a glass kind of nail so we do still want to be able to see through it. Uh, we're just going to feather it out until we're happy with it. And then when we are happy with our glitter, we're just going to place a very small, not wet, but just a small bead of acrylic and we are going to press this leaf into it straight away and make sure it's stuck down in all of the right places. We don't want any air bubbles under there, we want it nice and flush in with that acrylic and because these leaves are quite soft, I suppose, it, it did stick quite easily and we have just trimmed any excess that you don't want and I am just using my tweezers there and my brush to press that leaf in. Now I haven't put any acrylic at the bottom so I am just poking a little bit under that leaf there and pressing it into it once again. We're going to let it dry and then we are going to cap this entire nail in clear acrylic. Um, here I'm just adding a few extra little bits of glitter. We're just picking up very small beads and we are placing them onto the leaf just to make it a little bit more sparkly. This glitter is cinnamon sticks from Femme Fatale and it is again mixed with some clear acrylic and I'm just adding it where I feel I need it and then I'm going to get on with capping everything when I am happy. Coming back to our middle nail, we are going to file this line nice and crisp once again. 
going to dust off the dust and then we are going to come in with our next colour which is uh, CJP's Cranberry we're just going to create our next shape we're going to walk that acrylic right up into the corner where it meets the glitter at the top there we're going to pat it down into a little shape and now that we have made our last triangle we will not be able to file this line crisp so you really do need to make it as perfect as you possibly can with your brush here because we, we won't be able to file into that coming back to our leafy nail we are going to give it a good pinch I did leave this one a bit too long so it wasn't having any of it my tool was not pinching anything so I did pinch as best I could with my fingers and I gave it a good old squeeze and I removed my form downwards away from the finger. Our final addition to this nail is another glitter from the Femme Fatale's Autumn Collection. This one is Winterberry. Again I have mixed it with acrylic and we are just going to butt it up into that gap, the only gap we have left when we have it still just needs to be thin and when we've got it where we want it we are going to take a small amount, a very very small amount of clear acrylic and we are just going to cap that glitter in there so that when we come to file over the top of it we don't want to file away any of our glitter. We're just going to glide a little bit of clear acrylic over it just so that we can protect it from our file. This doesn't need to be any higher than the rest of the designs on the nail. It, we just literally just need to protect it so that when we file it doesn't go silver. Now with this little nail we have had to tailor our form a little bit more. I'm sorry I'm out of shot, this was quite difficult to do but what I've done is I've taken the tab out of the middle of the form and I have cut the top off it so that we've got a flat semicircle flat on one side and I've put the flat end on the back of the form so that instead of having a round meeting point we have got a flat square one and so we're going to fit it to the nail again and we're going to snip the sides so that it's nice and tight and then we are going to secure it to the sides of the fingers and pinch the shape into the form. We are once again going to prime our nail right before we apply our acrylic. We're going to do the same as we've done on the other nails. We are going to build out our small platform, our thin base to work from. And we are going to do a reverse French on this nail so we're just building out the free edge while we can and I do apologize this is out of shot but we, we are just doing the same as we've done before we're creating a small platform uh, in the shape of the nail that we want and we just need to make sure that it's nice and secured onto the natural nail and that it's the shape that we want the nail to be and it's just very very thin uh, it's a very thin platform to work from We're just going to pop back to this middle nail for a second, I'm going to squeeze it, I'm going to pinch my form and I'm going to remove it downwards and this one will be ready for us to file in a, minute, in a second. Um, we're going to come back to this pinky nail and this is where we are going to create our reverse French. We're just going to take a small bead of CJP's cashmere and I'm going to build out the reverse shape that I want. I've started at the cuticle and I'm just going to pat and press this bead down till we can make it the French shape that we're looking for. We're just going to push the acrylic back very similarly to how we've done the chevrons but just softer and rounder and we're going to create this reverse French look here. I'm just going to add a bit more acrylic where I feel I need it. I am placing a bit right on that smile line just to make sure we have a nice high lip to be able to put our glitter up to. And now we're finally going to move on to the thumb. We're going to form it the same as we've done all the other nails. We're going to place it up under that free edge we're going to snip those sides so we've got a nice tight fit with no gaps we're going to secure it on the finger and we're going to pinch the form into shape 
back to our French nail. If you feel like your smile line is not how you would like it to be, you can come in at this point and then file it into shape. I didn't feel like I needed to, so I moved straight on to applying my glitter. I am just going to put it right up to that smile line. I'm going to walk it up into the corners and then I am going to create a second French kind of shape here. Just like an extra little round shape on the end. I'm going to pat it and press it into place until it's where I want it to be. extra French to dry I am gonna move straight on with my next glitter this is cinnamon sticks from Femme Fatale we're going to fill in the gap at the bottom we're gonna finish off the nail with this we're gonna try and make it quite round so that we don't have a fade we have more of a solid glitter line and then once we are happy with the design we've got on the tip we are going to go ahead and cap this nail to do the same as we've done on the pinky finger we are going to prime it we're going to build our thin platform and then we are going to create another French this time because I've done it on a bigger nail I have started with the smile line first rather than using one bead to create my French so I'm going to place it on the smile line where I would like it to be I'm going to walk it back a little bit and feather it back and I'm going to push the smile line into the shape that I want. I will then go and fill the back of the nail in with the same acrylic uh, once I am happy with my smile line. going to add an apex bead onto this color acrylic I just wanted a little bit more height I didn't want to have to cap the entire nail as much so we did want to have most of the work done before we move on so we're just making sure that we've got a nice lip to put the glitter up to we've got a nice shape smile line so we can move on here I am using some more CJP's chestnut we're just going to place that bead right up against that smile line we're going to walk it up into the corners, we're going to feather it down and we are going to create a full French nail with this brown acrylic and then we are going to add a little bit of extra sparkle with some more Femme Fatale's embers and we're just going to make a very pretty little nail and then we will move on to capping.
going to pinch this nail again uh, we are going to remove our form downwards and then we are going to move back to our acrylic design nail and we are going to file it so that these lines are nice and crisp uh, everything is sharp we're going to do the free edge we're going to do the side walls and then we are just going to file over the entire top of this nail and then we will dust off the dust and we will come back to cap it because right now it is still a very very flat nail and we do need an apex in there but we do need to file it to make sure our lines are as nice and crisp as we want them to be. just building our apex with the clear acrylic uh, we just want to make sure it has a nice shape there's no major work to do we do just need to make sure that nail is nice and strong nice and slender at the same time and that it has the, the correct apex that we're looking for Once everything is set and ready to file, we are going to take our 150 grit hand file. We're going to file the free edge first, we are going to file the sides and we are going to file the side walls nice and straight. We just want to make sure everything's nice and flush and the right shape. Repeating this process from nail to nail on all 10 fingers, we're going to do the free edge, we're going to do the side wall and then we're going to do the other side wall and we are going to do this right the way through. It's very methodical, uh, very structured, you just do the same thing over and over again. Free edge, side wall, side wall and then we will move on to filing the shape in with our e-file. Now I am using a cast safety bit here, I am going to come around the cuticles and down the sides of the nails, we're going to make sure everything is nice and flush around the top and around the sides, we're going to file down the sides of the nail, down the barrel, then we will file across the top, make sure you tilt your e-file the way you have been trained to, to make sure you keep your apex in there, the last thing you want to do is file it out, we're going to file all the way down through the barrel of the nail to make sure our nail is nice and tapered, it has a nice apex, everything is nice and flush around those cuticles and we are going to do the same thing on all 10 nails. filing we are going to come back to our 150 grit hand file we're going to just smooth out the nail and rough up any imperfections this is just going to perfect your shape a little bit more and then we will buff it smooth afterwards but once again down the barrel of the nail around the few cuticles make sure everything is nice and flush very very straight along the side walls and all the way over the top you just want to make sure that this nail is the right shape and that we haven't left any big dinks in there with our refile Again, we're going to use a nail brush dipped in a little bit of ice 
isopropyl alcohol we're going to really thoroughly brush off these nails and really clean out all of that dust from around there and then we are going to move on to a little bit of hand painting i am just using a little bit of gold gel polish and a very small crystal nails nail art brush synthetic brush and we're just going to add a little bit of highlight to this leaf I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be stunning it's literally just highlighting those little veins just to make it a little bit more interesting just to make that leaf really stand out and then once we are happy with what we've painted we're going to pop it in the lamp and we are going to cure it buffer we're just going to make sure everything's nice and smooth and um, I should have done this before I hand painted on that one nail but I forgot so I am not going to buff it now I am going to leave it and then we will come in with our top card see that glitter pop once we put that top coat on there. It, this, these glitters are absolutely stunning. I was very pleased with this set of nails and uh, my client was as well. I thoroughly enjoyed creating them and everything is just very very autumn-y. I am ready for the autumn. Uh, I was very very happy with these nails. They came out super shiny, super smooth. They were a really nice set of nails. this glass nail we are going to top coat the underneath of it as well so if you very very gently ask your client to turn her hand upside down you can just swipe a little bit of top coat under that nail and we will be able to see through it and that's it for this one guys i really hope you've enjoyed it i've had a lot of fun making this and i will see you all in the next one bye